Hi everyone and welcome along to the Flexi Classes YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at a really, really brilliant Chrome extension called Language Reactor, formerly known as Language Learning with Netflix. My name is Max and I'd like to welcome you along to our YouTube channel, which is brand new by the way. If you like learning all things languages, whether it be Mandarin, Korean, Japanese or others, I recommend you give us a subscribe because I'm pretty sure you're going to love the content that we've got for you. We're going to bring you plenty of app reviews, language learning stories, tips, tricks and hacks and share all the information that we've got on our excellent website, all with you here on our YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome back and thanks very much for supporting our channel. Anyway, straight into Language Reactor itself, because that's why you are here. So Language Reactor is not actually an app and it's not something that you can download on your phone. Language Reactor is a Google Chrome extension. So if you don't know, what exactly is a Google Chrome extension? A Chrome extension essentially requires you to have the browser Google Chrome and it's a software embedded into the browser that you can add at any point that you want and remove. So it's almost like downloading an app, but not for your phone, for your browser instead. And they pop up at the top corner of your screen and you can see a list of all your extensions and Language Reactor is one of those extensions. And that is what we will talk about today. So what exactly is Language Reactor? Well, first it's important to know, as we've already mentioned, but we'll mention it again, Language Reactor, or LR for short, used to be known as LLN, which was Language Learning with Netflix. Essentially, what the tool is, is it allows you to watch something on Netflix with two sets of subtitles, thus making it a really good language learning tool. We'll show you in a minute, we'll take a dive into my computer and have a look. But what you can do, let's say I'm an English native speaker and I want to study Chinese. I can therefore switch on English subtitles and Chinese subtitles at the same time. However, it's not just a simple two sets of subtitles. You can actually do a lot more with it. And we're going to have a look in my computer in a second at some of those things, such as downloading words and having links to dictionaries, looking up sentence meanings, saving your favorite words into a list of things, etc., etc. So it's a really powerful language learning tool that should not be overlooked. So the reason for the rebrand is because Language Reactor has actually expanded away from Netflix and bringing in other tools as well. So we also discovered last year, but roughly about a year ago, that they released Language Learning with YouTube, which was LLY. But essentially then they were building different brands. So what they've done with Language Reactor is they're bringing everything into one and all the new ventures that they go on, again, which we'll take a look at soon, are all under the umbrella that's known as Language Reactor. With Language Reactor, there are over 30 languages available and it's so easy to switch on and off because you quite literally just hit a switch. And it's also fun because you can use it casually. So you can just sit and watch and not particularly study as such formally, but just more informally. Or you can actually really dig in to Language Reactor and pause after every sentence and study and add to your favourites and do your writing in between. So it really suits lots of different needs. And it's fun, obviously, because you can watch your favourite TV shows, your favourite videos and learn at the same time. And that is why here at Flexi Classes, we really, really like Language Reactor. Reactor.com. This is the home page of their website, and you can actually see at the moment that the reactor is under construction. They've got a, a rather humorous image in the middle there to show us exactly that. However, what we want to focus on is the tool itself. So you can see down the left hand side, they've got a number of things going on, a number of them also in beta at the moment. So they have their YouTube and Netflix catalogs, which we've mentioned already. They've also got something called Turtle TV video files and text, which we'll come to very soon. You can also see that Language Reactor are trying to move not just to Chrome, but also away to Firefox and Edge, understanding that not everyone uses Google Chrome, although currently they supposedly have 1 million users, which is absolutely fantastic stuff. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at it in action now. So we're going to move over to our YouTube channel and we're going to have a look at a video here that we filmed a while back about Shanghai. And you can see this is the tool here. So it comes up right next to the minute and all you have to do is switch on and then just like that you can see everything change and what we'll do we're just going to play it for a few seconds and you're going to see language reactor at work <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the LTL Mandarin School YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about why should you learn Chinese in Shanghai. First we'll take a little look around the city, we'll talk to the director of the school, even ask some students why they think you should learn Chinese in Shanghai. Alrighty, roll the intro! Okay, so that's our excellent video man, Campbell, there, who's introducing us to one of our Shanghai videos. But you can see straight away exactly what Language Reactor is all about. So by the click of a button, I've switched on the ability to translate everything. And I must admit, as well, as a relatively decent Mandarin speaker, that the translations are also very, very good. But as I said, it's not just about two sets of subtitles there, because if you look on the right, what we can do here, you've got the whole script here, and what you can do, you can highlight individual words and you can see how they translate in Chinese, which is really, really quite impressive. So you can see for school here, we've got Xue Xiao, and then other also alternate words, so Shang Xue and also Xiao. So we can highlight words just like this. There we can highlight ask, and we can see when, and we can see Yao Qiao, and we can see Shun Wen. So the three different words to ask. And also the sentence in the video that's related to that word there. So you can see the whole sentence that we've got. And you can do this for the entire video. So it's a really, really, really useful tool and excellent for studying. Another feature I wanted to show you, which is really good, is this here. This is the auto pause section. And this is highly recommended if you're actually formally studying. So if you're writing things down or if the video is going too fast for you, you can turn on auto pause and let's see what happens. It's got a little intro to get by here, which <laughs> is almost going to finish, and then we're going to go straight to. There we go. Went straight to Johan there. And you can see without me doing anything, it pulls the sentence. So that then gives me the chance to study the sentence there. So we can see Shanghai is really, it's a really great. So Shanghai, gender, sure, ego, fei chang, bang, the, and then stops. And then we can move on to the next sentence when we feel like we've studied that sentence. And again, you can see it stopped Johan very kindly. And then we've got the translations again. So it's Super, super useful if you want to study. You can highlight the words in the video itself or you can go over to the right hand side and study them there. And that I think in itself is a really, really great tool, but you can do more as well. So what you've also got here is a complete list of words where again, it's showing you the translations when you highlight them. So you've got level one words. And then as you go down, you've got level two and then three. So obviously as the levels go up, the words get a bit harder. I'm not sure what defines level one, two, three, four, five, but again, you can see, so depending on what your level is, I don't know also how it's defined my current level, but I'm sure there's an answer to that. You can see certain words are highlighted in a different color, and then you can find out what the words Credential. are. You can then also click Western on certain words, just like that, and you can get usage examples, and also, you can have other links to external diaries here. So if I want to be taken to the Cambridge Advanced Dictionary, I can just click on that and then I can find out exactly what that word means. If I don't know the word in English, for example, uh, and I'm a non-native speaker, you can go to Word Reference. So it's got all these useful tools here and it's even got the sentences when you highlight the words. So that's another powerful feature. 
Another powerful feature, which we also really like, is you can save words. So if there are words that you want to particularly remember or drill into your mind, or ones that you just keep forgetting, you can save them to your list here very, very easily. I've not got any at the moment, but you can add as many as you wish very, very easily. So that's another excellent feature about Language Reactor. So we'll go back to the website itself and we'll just take a quick look at a couple of the things. So you've got YouTube catalogues here. So you can actually look for the videos in Language Reactor itself. Or, as I said, you can just go straight directly through YouTube and turn Language Reactor on very easily. The same works with Netflix as well. So it's worth noting that you need to be watching on Netflix through Google Chrome. So you can't do this on your iPad or your TV, for example. You need to be watching it on your computer through Chrome. And you simply turn on the film or the TV show, and again, just turn the subtitles on exactly how you would have done on YouTube there. So they've got all the classics here, all the big names, and you can watch these in your target language. The next sections, I'm not really sure what they're about. So you've got Turkey TV, apparently that's coming back online soon. You've got Video File, where presumably you can upload a video and get the two sets of subtitles. And you've also got text here, this is almost like Google Translate, really. So you can type in whatever you want. Can you translate this for me? Select your language. You can see that a number of them aren't ready yet, so perhaps they're also under development, but you can pick your language, so they've got Chinese, and then go to reader mode, and then it will translate for you. These things are all improving, getting better as we move on. So at the time of recording, they're not quite done yet, but they will improve. One other feature I did want to show you, though, that's really, really good, and we have at Flexi Classes as well, is the forum. I think it's always really good for websites to build online communities as much as they can, and that's what we've tried to do at Flexi, and Language React have done as well, with a very similar-looking forum to ours, actually, where it's relatively active. You can see in the last 24 hours, four of the threads have had posts, and they're, they're, they essentially use it as a place to troubleshoot and get feedback, uh, but also they can roll out their thoughts and their new updates to people as well. So it's a really, really cool thing to do, and I recommend you get involved in the forum and have a look at some of the posts as well. That, in essence, is what Language Reactor is. So it's so easy to use, as you can see. It's dead easy to download as well. You just come to the website, click Add to Chrome, then you're done and straight away you can go and watch your favorite videos or Netflix shows watching with two sets of subtitles. Right, so I hope you enjoyed our little look there into Language Reactor. So now I just wanna follow up that with three hints and tips that I think are really, really good things to do when using Language Reactor. So number one is highlighting words. So the first thing that you should be using Language Reactor for is expanding your vocabulary in your target language. Now, obviously everyone's levels with everyone's language will be very different. So my advice is just to relax and enjoy using it. Don't take it too seriously. Of course, you can study formally and, and write down every single thing, but the first thing is just sit back and enjoy it and pick up new vocabulary and just jot them down as you go along, perhaps on your phone or just on a piece of paper whilst continuing to enjoy the show. Then what you can do with those vocabs, whether you've got 5, 50 or 500, you can make post-it notes and put them up around your house. And that's a great way then to remember those words that you've learned. So that's tip number one for using Language Reactor. Tip number two is to save those words that you've picked up using Language Reactor into your saved list. You can see at the moment, I hadn't actually done that, which is not very good from my point of view, but save those words and revise them and revise them and revise them over and over again. You can also do the same with sentences. So you can actually save sentences. And this is a really common method of learning languages that many polyglots I know have actually used. It's called sentence mining. And it relates to not just remembering a word, but remembering a sentence. And that way you can then start using those sentences in conversation and then just replace words in that sentence with other words, thus expanding your ability to have a conversation. So my second tip would be to save words and sentences 
in Language Reactor and revise them continuously. Tip number three is if you are sat down and studying a bit more formally, utilize that auto pause thing that I showed you there. Now that wasn't there with language learning with Netflix, or not at least when I was using it. And I think it's a really clever feature that they've included because you can actually then almost use that with tip two and create sentences to mind. So you can listen and then write and study. And is there a grammar point in that sentence that you didn't understand? Is there something new that you didn't get before? Use the auto pause section and you can study each sentence quite clearly and have a good look at it. Obviously, it depends on everyone's situation and how you want to use it. So you might not utilize all those three tips at once. You might do one, for example, when you're just casually watching TV with your partner or your kids or whatever. And you might maybe have a spare couple of hours on your own where you think, right, I want to watch this show, but I want to make sure that I know exactly what they're saying. So I'm going to study everything first, then I'm going to re-watch it after. So there's lots of different ways you can use it, and that's why we really like it. So that's my top three tips for using Language Reactor. One thing worth noting with Language Reactor is that the team there are clearly forward thinking and they've got lots of ideas and things that they want to implement. So this is probably actually not the best time to review Language Reactor because there's lots of things in beta mode and developing. But we really wanted to get this video out because we were excited about the rebrand and the new things that they've done and the ideas that they've got. So you can still obviously get using it in the meantime. Before we did videos about their Netflix version and their YouTube one, but it's important to keep an eye on the things that they've got going forward. So I would recommend if you do like the tool and you want to use it, to bookmark the website languagereactor.com and keep an eye on the things going on as they move forward. So you can see, I showed you earlier, the small things that they're doing with text translation, where you can type in some text and a voice actually also reads it out to you and you get a translation like Google Translate. You've got video translation, which could be really, really powerful for some people. And then Turtle TV, I'm very intrigued to find out what that is. Maybe I'll do a little bit more digging on the forum. But that's also something that definitely should be watched out for. And as I mentioned, utilize the forum because that wasn't there before either. And I think it's really good that they're trying to build an online community. And whilst you're at it, don't forget the Flexi Classes Forum if you like learning languages, because we've got lots of people starting to participate. It's growing and growing, and we're really enjoying building a community online, just like LR. That will be all for today, folks. I really, really hope that you enjoyed the video, and I really hope that we've introduced you to something new. Whenever we find something here at LTL, we talk about it, we use it, and then as soon as we can, we get it out there to you guys because we just love finding and sharing new language learning tools that make our lives easier. It's genuinely never been an easier time to learn languages. You rewind 20 years ago, none of this was there. It was all about books and grinding and memorization, but now we've got all these really fun ways to learn languages, whether it be on social media like Instagram or TikTok, or even YouTube, whether it be things like LR, there's so many different ways to do it. You've got online classes now, which we do at LTL, 24 seven around the clock live. So do check that out if you are so way inclined. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will be bringing you more very, very soon. Take care, bye-bye.